what you did in the open and what you إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome again to the inevitable journey. Welcome again to the inevitable journey. The journey that we all have to take, insha'Allah. And we are actually approaching it every single day that goes by of our lives. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the last episode, we talked about the resurrection of all of mankind. From beneath earth, إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا When the earth will shake, وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا An earth will kick out everything that was inside it. وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا Mankind will ask, what is wrong with you earth? يَوْمَئِذٍ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا On this day, earth will speak. بِأَنَّ رَبَّكَ أَوْحَى لَهَا That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who commanded it to do so. يَوْمَ إِذٍ يَصْدُرُ النَّاسُ أَشْتَاتًا لِيُرَوْ أَعْمَى لَهُمْ On this day, all of mankind will come out numerous in number in order to see the result of the deeds that they performed in this world in order to see what they did with their lives were they slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life see subhanallah in kullu man fi samawati wal ardi illa ati rahmani abda laqad ahsahum wa addahum adda every one in the heavens and the earth will come to the most merciful as a slave. You see right now, you have the choice to be a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one area, whether you obey or not. I tell you something and I challenge you, the kafir, the disbeliever, still a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let me ask him these questions, these questions. Did he choose his father? Did he choose his mother? Did he choose his place of birth? Did he choose where he is to be born? Did he choose his tribe? Did he choose his culture? He had nothing. Did he choose how long he will live? Did he choose his provision? No. Will he choose the place he will die? No. Will he choose how will he die? No. Will he choose where he will die? No. Still a slave. He only left with the choice to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not. The years that he is living in this earth, he is left free. Whether he will heed and hear the calls of the messengers or not. Or will he call, hear and heed the calls of shaitan and the calls of his whims and desires. You see? Right there. You are left to this. But rest assured that after you die and after you are raised from the ground, you're going to be a slave to Allah unwillingly. Everyone in the heavens and the earth will come to the most merciful as a slave. No more choices. You will be driven from that time on. You have no choice. You will be driven to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but with one difference, that you will see the result of the decision that you made now while you are here. And that is why one of the names that, that the hereafter brothers and sisters in Islam was given so many names, up to 50. And Imam Al-Qurtibi rahimahullah said that 
the hereafter normally uh, in, in once uh, uh, a certain event that takes so many names it's because of the amount of events that happen on this day the day of judgment is called the day of judgment the day of reckoning the day of resurrection the day of uh, of, of, of al waqi'ah the day of al qari'ah uh, the day of there is one of the names yawmul hasrah the day of vain regret you know what vain regret over here in this world right now if you make a mistake or if you take the wrong decision if you regret you could fix it you could come back and say okay inshallah i will do this but on this day yawmul hasra is a day of vain regretfulness because your regretfulness will not help you there is no time you're actually going to wish to come back. وَلَوْ تَرَى إِذْ وُقِفُوا عَلَى النَّارِ فَقَالُوا يَا لَيْتَنَا نُرَدْ If you would just see, once they will, be, they will be standing by the hellfire, and they will wish that they will be brought back to this world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بَلْ بَدَى لَهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يُخْفُونَ مِنْ قَبْلِ and if they would go back, If they would go back to this world, they will go back to do the things that they used to do in the past. Brothers and sisters in Islam, now make yourself a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And akhi, don't feel embarrassed about this word. You know, once you enslave yourself to Allah, you will be free from the enslavement to any other human being. You see, I tell you right now, if you do not become a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will become a slave to other people. You will become a slave to money. You will become a slave to your whims and desires. And the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ta'isa abdu dinar Ta'isa abdu dirham A loser is the slave of money. A loser is the slave of his desire. A loser. Now, brothers and sisters in Islam, is the time that you abide by the deen. You follow the, the, the revelation that came to you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if you implement, you will become a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This way, at this time, once you are resurrected, look, the distinguishment between the, those who chosen willingly to be believers and those who refused and they were arrogant takes place right away. Once you rise from the graveyard, angels will come to give you security. Angels will affirm you. Allah takhafu wa la tahzanu. Fear not, grieve not. Nahnu awliya'ukum fil hayati dunya. We were your guardians in the dunya and in the hereafter we will be with you until you make it to Jannah. وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوَعَدُونَ Have a glad tidings of Jannah. We used to be your guardians in this world. And we used to be your guard, and we will be your guardians in the hereafter. And in Jannah, you will find whatever you desire. And whatever you call for, you will find. This is what you need once you raise, once you are raised from the graveyard. But look at the others. يَوْمَ يَخْرُجُونَ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ سِرَاعًا كَأَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ نُصُبٍ يُنْفِضُونَ Look at them. Once they come out of the graveyards, they will be racing to a landmark. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him, اقْتَرَبَتِ السَّاعَةُ وَانْشَقَّ الْقَمَرُ وَإِنْ يَرَوْا آيَةً يُعْرِضُوا وَيَقُولُوا سِحْرٌ مُسْتَمِرٌ وَكَذَّبُوا وَاتَّبَعُوا أَهْوَاءَهُمْ وَكُلُّ أَمْرٍ مُسْتَقِرٌ وَلَقَدْ جَاءَهُمْ مِنَ الْأَنْبَاءِ مَا فِيهِ مُزْدَجَرٌ حِكْمَةٌ بَالِغَةٌ فَمَا تُغْنِي النُّذُرُ Listen, فَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ Leave them alone. They are, every time they seen an ayah, they turn away from you, O Muhammad. They turn away from you, O caller to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Leave them alone. When the announcer will call to something that they will not dislike. Look at their condition. Like this. Their state of humiliation. يَخْرُجُونَ مِنَ الْأَجْدَاثِ كَأَنَّهُمْ جَرَادٌ مُنْتَشِرٌ They will come out of the graveyards like scattered locusts. مُهْطِعِينَ إِلَى الدَّاعِ 
they are lowering their heads and they are following the caller who is driving them let's go to the place of gathering the disbelievers will say this is going to be a difficult day which one brothers and sisters you want to be with which group see you need to understand this. Are those who did a lot of evil deeds think that we're going to make them equal to those who did righteous deeds no that's a bad call those who did righteous deeds will be treated well listen to this are we going to make those who believed and did righteous deeds like those who corrupt in earth? Are we, talk the, are we going to make the righteous equal to those who did righteous deeds? No. Brothers and sisters in Islam, it is your call right now. And all what it takes is to become a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. You become pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being your Lord and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being your messenger and Islam being your religion and the only way you will show that pleasure that Allah is your Lord Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is your messenger and Islam is your deen if you implement what you are commanded if you learn the deen implement what you learned call people to it and be patient this way you will, insha'Allah, make yourself, bi'idnillah ta'ala, a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the result of this will be shown to you also when you rise from the graveyard. Let's continue talking about the inevitable journey after a short break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The scale of justice will be broke before man. Now you shall have to explain your whole lifespan. Amazing stories. In this program, we get to know about people of the past whose stories were mentioned in the Islamic tradition and related by the Prophet, peace be upon him. That verily us, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we tell you about the best of the stories. We tell you about the best of the stories. When we narrate a story, when we read a story, when we try to benefit from a story, what we are trying to do in reality is to go back through the steps, through the different parts and sections of this story until the story is actually completed and that we can take the actual benefit directly from the story. Sheikh Lutfi will narrate these stories in his program Amazing Stories. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered one of the lands to come closer the destination Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered one whole city to come closer to move closer to this dead person scale of justice will be broke before man now you shall have to explain your Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi